Next up is a solution to what may be an embarrassing personal problem. Hello, sharks. My name is Brittany Lammon, and I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Today, I am seeking $200,000 for 30% equity in my company. Sharks, do you know what chub rub is? <laughs> Let me tell you from firsthand or first thigh experience that it is awful. Chub rub happens when your thighs rub together or chafe, causing a nasty, painful rash in between your thighs. Whoa! It's awful, right? I cannot. <laughs> I cannot. And no one wants to deal with that when you're out trying to have a good time. Introducing the Chub Rub Patch. <laughs> Sharks, let me show you how simple it is to apply these lightweight and thin patches to your inner thighs like this. You can wear them all day and your thighs will thank you. Sharks, my product is the next big thing that solves the common issue of chafing. So who is ready to help me fight Chub Rub? <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, this is a problem I suffer from. No! Yes, get I out! It. You too, because you're a runner. Because I have these massive running legs. Yes! And they rub together all the time. Back in my more Ruben S days, when I would play basketball, <laughs> I would have the same thing happen. You too, yes. Mark! Not any longer, Rob. Oh, Robert. It's exploding Don't you a love social it, Brittany, right now. that the men You've up here are the first ones to talk about chub rub? Yes, because honestly, it's not talked about. You must have sold a lot of chub rub, actually. Oh, here we go. Yeah. So we started uh, July of last year, and we have $105,000 in sales. That's not bad. So what do you sell them for? We sell them for $8.99. And what do they cost you to make? Landing to 12 it's not bad. Can you reuse them, or is one time fits it's all? It's one time use, but you can also wear them up to three or four days. How did you come up with this? I actually work at WWE and wrestling, and I'm a makeup artist and hairstylist. And a lot of those people work out, and so they have thicker thighs. And so that is how I came about it. There's other products on the market that there's creams, there's gels. People use deodorants, powders, all that stuff. I used to use Vaseline. See? Really? And the thing is, yeah. though, is with that, products like that, is that it's not an all-day fix. And so you have to carry it in your bag and you have to reapply. This is a product that is ripe for influencer marketing. This yeah. will yes. go absolutely crazy because you can get this to the right people. Everybody loves to do the demonstration. Yeah. It's a no-brainer. Yeah. The thing that's killing me is the name. The Chub Rub Patch? Are you hysterical. getting like, no, like, It's very catchy. Just, oh, yeah. It's, it's I very do think catchy. it's memorable. Why don't you like the name? I just don't, I, ugh, it just feels like You're too yucky. cool, Emma. Most so of us are. I am extremely cool. Chub Rub Club, my name is Mark Cuban, and I'm a member of the Chub Rub Club. Listen, the other thing that... <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't want to be in the club. Brittany, Brittany, I like to invest in products that I actually use, and I am not a member of the Chub Rub Club. You're not? I don't it's have very a problem exclusive. with that. <laughs> I got millions of followers. No one ever said to me, oh, I'm chafing. Well, that's the thing is nobody really talks about it. Kevin, you rub a lot of people the wrong way. <laughs> Listen, I should probably put this over your mouth, Robert. It would work because it's stretching. I'm just worried about, like, you know, skin rashes, issues. This goes directly onto your skin. Are you having or seeing any of that? So we have had maybe two or three people that have said that, and we said that we, you should test it out first before wearing it for a long amount of time. Brittany, what are you going to do with the $200,000? I would like to put it, uh, most of the money into marketing, Facebook ads. I would like to have um, more influencers show it on Instagram. But you don't know what that's going to cost you yet in terms of customer acquisition, right? A lot. Um, look, 200000 for 30%, I think you're too early. Um, getting back to 200000 I don't know, it might be tough. I, I just want to be clear and, and be transparent about it, and I don't want any friction. So, <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> Thank you. What percentage of your sales are reorders? Um, we have about 23%. And why do you think the other 77% don't um, reorder? Um, well, I think it's because they just haven't gotten to it, and we want to be in big box stores because it's like you have to order it, it takes two to three days to get to you, and that's the reason why. To get 22 million views, you know it's not just about the product, right? It's the name and it's the fun. That's what makes this work, right? But when I'd be working out in my thighs, I just use Vaseline, and when I think about the trainers with the Mavs, that's what they'll do is Vaseline. And so for those reasons, I'm out. Some products are just not meant for a large scale investment. This isn't something 
that's going to go very big right now. Thank you for inventing the product, but I'm out. Thank you. I'll send you a pack. <laughs> <laughs> Brittany, you don't always need to take on an investor. That brings a lot of responsibility. I wish you good luck, but I'm sorry I'm out. I'm sorry. This is not an investable opportunity for me. I wish you a lot of luck, but not for me, so I'm out. Thank you so much. I feel like a licensing deal, Emma, would be so great with you because I feel like Kim Kardashian has the breast tape, and I feel like it would go along with those lines and the colors. We're just trying wow, to be Brittany, inclusive. Wow, Brittany, you have no quit in you. No, but she's right not to have any quit. And you know, I think that you're right. Like trying to figure out some alignment with other brands that can help you sell this product and help you get the scale, that's the right way to go. You should be gifting this product alongside other brands like Good American or Skims. Like that, that's the right that's mindset. That's a perfect fit. I don't feel like it's an investable opportunity, but I do think that your, your head, you know, your thoughts are right in the right direction for this. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, good luck, congrats, Brittany. Thank yeah, you. Thank you. I am a very brand new company, but it was amazing to get in front of five brilliant sharks. And I feel like I definitely got great advice and I will take that just to scale my business even more.